Hey everybody, it's time for another edition of Always Looking Up, here with Lisa. Ah, Mills Brothers, way back in the 30s, that song Hold That Tiger. It reminds me of all the crazy nicknames that I've had over the years. And that song was the reason why I got my first nickname because, you know, being around grandparents, you hear these old songs. And I used to go around singing that song, Hold That Tiger, while I was running around my grandparents' house. So my grandfather would jump out from behind doors and things and go, Tiger, grr! You know, he thought it was real funny and, you know, he'd always pull on me and stuff. And so that was my first nickname. Um, the next nickname I got, which was kind of unusual, was Schmeese. S-M-E-E-C-E. -E -E. Uh, my aunt called me that. It stands for small niece. So that was the second nickname that I remember getting. And, um, you know, of course, you get to high school, and we all know that high school is a place where anything can happen, especially if you're a little bit different, especially if you're diminutive in size and always looking up, like me. The One of the worst ones that I can remember was a guy, he was Jewish, and I'm not Jewish, and he had several classes with me in my last couple years of high school, and we would get into all sorts of religious and philosophical and political discussions, and before class was starting, when everybody was quiet, he would say, well, hello, Gentile slut, say, how much money did you make this weekend? And, of course, that was one of the most embarrassing things to happen to me in high school. Not the most embarrassing thing, because I ain't going to talk about that right now. But he would do that, you know, before the class bell rang and say, How much money did you make this weekend? It was pretty scary. One of my favorite nicknames came from high school, though. Also, my best friend, she called me Tiny Dancer. She was an absolutely rabid Elton John fan, and of course we all know the beautiful song, Tiny Dancer, Married a Music Man. Of course that turned out to be true, but she didn't know that. She guessed, I guess, but whatever. But she loved that song and it always made her think of me, and so when I email her or message her over the years, I've reminded her of that and, you know, put Tiny Dancer there in the you know, signature, but, um, people have, you know, I've said this before in my vlogs that people are very comfortable around me, and so they say whatever they want to say to me, and one of my husband's colleagues, I didn't know him at all, and he invited us to a Super Bowl football watching party, and, uh, you know, several years ago, and he had a little bit too much to drink. And he kept calling me a spinner. I didn't know what a spinner was. I had never been called that. I thought I'd been called every name in the book, but I hadn't. I had no idea what it was. If you do not know what a spinner is, and you want to know, you're going to have to message me below because. I love being on YouTube and I'm not going to be flagged, you know, for, for talking about that kind of stuff. I, you know, I had to, since I didn't know what it was, I had to corner him and, you know, ask him what he kept calling me because my husband didn't know. Speaking of my husband and who else to give you the most craziest moniker that you can get. And we're going to see if you can guess this. And before I show you what it is, that's right, show you. Before I show you what that moniker is, get your mind out of the gutter. I'm warning you. 
I'm warning you it, as we start. We'll see if you can guess. And yes, he called me this many, many years before the song came out. That's right. Supermassive black hole. Whoa. No, 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 no. It's not what you're thinking. Stop that. I'm not going to listen. I hear you already. Shh, shh, shh. Rate, subscribe. I'll see you next week here on Always Looking Out.